but my nice old pal, what took you so long? There was a cha a traffic jam at Cleveland. And the other, and the other, um, five hours. This railroad is literally full, is literally four, wait, no. Now literally 250 miles from where we started out this morning. You really expect me to get here before before you? Besides, how did you even get here before me? Some questions are, are just um better off than I'm um, unanswered. Well, I heard th that the yard manager was going to get a TV, a VHS, and put on something called the K and N Railroad Training Video. Yeah. There. Number 1523, this is the Canon training video. Let's start it off, shall we? If you're watch watching this video right now, congratulations! You you have been sent here to work on one of the most famous but rem yet remote railroads in Ohio. The railroad is separated into four parts. Let me show you. So this is the is the layout of the New Carbon Northern. This right here is Junction City, and if we go about about half a kilometer. Um. Th then we go up into the mountains, and then and then we'll reach Blue Sky Mine right about here. And then we go, and then we go, and um, Las Marys, and and Marysville are are um two are two towns along the line that are right next to each other. Then there's Acme, and then we go down, and then we go down to Steve Gradient, where we reach Gentuck City, and Cookery Mines a quarter of a of a of a mile above. Uh, um, next to it. So all in all, there's four uh, um, towns on, on this railroad. Here's what those four parts are. The mountain, the interchange, switching, and branch. This is the Lake Fortadale br branch line that, we're, that we will um, be able to finish by, by the end of 2021. Now we will cover the, f the physical aspect of the job. Make sure your workspace is free of it, of any people who might try to vandalize it, or simply just keep it free of any droppings. Let's look at this little fella here as he gets ready for a shift. He first he first puts the cars in order. He makes sure there is no there's no mess foul ups. And when an engine comes to get to to get so, some, then or it's who we're going to call just GT charges fifty grams of. <laughs> coal. Let's see how, how um, some of the engines on the other side of the mountain ranges get ready for their shift. He has a glazed look in the eye. Look very closely at the, at the I want to leave and not come back quote in his cab. Let's see how, how a um, productive engine handles his attitude. He, has a, he or she has a smile on his face saying that Hello, New Cover Northern. I, I'm can can I be the best engine that has ever lived on on the planet? <laughs> Next, we will take a look at at disasters and how you can and how you can prevent them. Look at look at this young f fella here. At least he's young in our book. Patrolling the the new coven northern um, with a close eye. He is making sure that, n that nobody gets gets into a um, sticky situation, including himself. Oh, what's this? It's the derailment alarm. Um, stuck at stuck at Junction City Central Towers. At least every railroad in Ohio has this. An engine like GT would would not wait wait for the situation to get worse. He will rush to the situation. Oh no! Look at this. The newcomer Nor Northern still standing locomotive, Craig, has fallen into the turntable. What will an engine like GT do? A. Let, let him sit here, sit there until he disintegrates. B. Help him. Or C. Get someone else to do it. I'll help ya. You see, the organized code never lets us down. Now it's time to talk about one of the most important necessities of, of the North Carolina Northern passengers. Sometimes the passengers might complain. 
it, it ended anywhere else would just simply stop the train, decouple the train, go home in a fit of rage, pro probably so mad that they sell themselves to another railroad, and then eventually becoming the, the victim uh, to something known as scrap. And they really have no no right to be complaining because this is literally one of the most this is literally one of the most bumpiest routes still running steam in the U.S. After so we have basically covered all of the topics for the day. We are now ready to get fired up and ready for the first day for the first day on the Great New Coven Northern Railroad. Well, well, I guess that's the end of the video. I guess we'll, we'll travel the last 200 miles. No, it was 20. Now say there.